Hey guys, I am still in bed. It's like two o'clock in the afternoon. Had a road trip early yesterday morning, did not get home um, <clears throat> until probably about after three this morning. Did not go to bed until about maybe five. So I knew I was pretty much gonna be in bed all day. But I just wanted to do this video with you guys. And you guys, I have to excuse my groggy voice. Like I said, I'm still in bed. <laughs> I'm still in bed. And so <clears throat> I wanted to upload this video to you guys because I wanted to talk to you guys really quickly about praying for your spouse and your family members, covering your spouse, your kingdom spouse, and your family members daily. If you guys even have kids, praying with your kids and teaching your kids how to pray for their family. Um, a lot of you guys may have, um, I don't know, maybe uh, prodigals that you are already married to and in separation with and you guys may even have kids i encourage you guys if that is your situation teach those kids how to pray when it comes to the things of this world and how to cover family and so um on the way home yesterday as we know yesterday was saturday there's a lot of people out clubbing, partying, drinking, driving, and, you know, things happen when you drink and drive. And so the thing about it is a lot of our family members, kingdom spouses, they are innocent bystanders. There are some of the kingdom spouses that are prodigals. And we always talk about how they live this reckless life. I am encouraging you guys, like I said, to pray over your spouses and your family daily. Cover them daily from the time that you wake up throughout the day and even when you go to sleep. I seen the most horrible and the most horrific accident on the way home. And I thank God because I could have been a victim with that situation. So I'm driving home, made it back to my city because I was out of town yesterday and made it back to my city. Like I said, it was early in the morning, like three o'clock or whatever the case may be. I'm at a stoplight. And so this car basically... Um, I guess you could say they they hopped in front of me. They spun around me, if that's a word. And then there was a car on the side of me at the stoplight. So this car went around that car. So it's almost like they're driving out of control in a zigzag um, manner. Now, like I said, this car could have crashed directly behind me. But I thank God that I was covered. And so this car, like I said, they spun around me, then spun around another car that was on the side of me. A few feet away, they go through the traffic light and they um, their car just starts spinning uncontrollably, just spinning around and around. They were under a Vidoc at this point. I don't know if you guys know what a Vidoc is, but it's almost like a bridge made out of concrete. They have usually Vidocs in big cities. If any of you guys um, live in big cities, you know what a Vidoc is, a bridge that's made out of concrete. That's the best way that I can explain it. But like I said, this person, they ended up uh, going through the stop, like going under the Vidoc and the car just started spinning out of control and it was literally like a demon was inside this car i mean when i tell you i have never seen anything like this this close to me i was probably about 
six feet away from this accident once this car came around me. And so a car spinning out of control, it ends up hitting the concrete. It was a hard impact hitting the concrete of the Vidoc. It was such a hard impact. It literally tore up the entire car. When I tell you guys there is like a full blown attack and war going on on a spiritual level, it's just, it's completely insane. It's completely insane. All I could do was pray. I couldn't even move my car. All I all I could do was pray for that person that was in that car. But it was literally like a demon was in that car. I've never seen anything like that. And so this person, they had to be driving drunk. Driving drunk or on something. It was a nice car that they were riding in. And like I said, there's a full-blown attack that is going on. The enemy is trying to take people out one by one. And so, like I said, a lot of the kingdom spouses, they're living these reckless lives. These prodigals, they're living reckless lives. We got to cover our kingdom spouses, whether they're living a reckless life or not, because the enemy, they he sees the call that's on your life. He sees the call that is on your kingdom spouse life. He even see the call that may be on many of your children. We have to keep these people pr uh, prayed up and covered daily. Daily. Like, I, I, I could not believe how close I was to this accident and I just thank God. I at that point I didn't it was almost like I didn't even want to drive anywhere because I had seen like so many drunk drivers on the road coming back. Like I said, it's Saturday night. And so God was letting me know um in that moment, like, don't fear, because here's a sign. I had a cop car basically riding behind me at a certain point because I'm like, God, I don't even want to move my car because there's so many people that's drinking and driving on the road tonight. Had a cop car behind me and I felt like that was God saying that this is his protection. Ran across another cop car when I entered my neighborhood. God was letting me, me know that I am protected. But the point for this message is for you guys to please, I don't care how you may feel about your kingdom spouse, if you want to be with them, if you don't want to be with them, Cover your kingdom spouses daily. The enemy is trying to take them out. When I say it seemed like it was a demon inside that car that just took over and it was clear that the enemy was trying to take that person out, all I could do was pray for that person's life at that point. That's all I could do. So guys, again, just cover your kingdom spouses cover your family members because the enemy is trying to take out people one by one, one by one. So that is it. That is all guys. I was just, I was really blown away with that accident. And it just, it made me think of the reckless lives that a lot of the kingdom spouses and the prodigals are living and like I said, even some of them, they're not living reckless lives. And a lot of times people are um, being victimized and harmed and hurt. Just being innocent bystanders, being in the wrong place at the wrong time. The enemy, he wants to take down the people of God. He wants to take you out, really. If you got a major call on your life, he wants to take you out. And so... He's going to do that by not only doing things to get to you personally, but also attacking your family members, also attacking the kingdom spouse. So we got to keep these people prayed up at the end of the day. Guys, I'll talk to you later. I'm going to get to rest. This is your girl, Jennifer Lynn, the crown jewel, and I will talk with you guys next time.